and I do love the Wheel of Fortune. This is all about flow and um, positive movement forward and changes. And we do have the Four of Cups. We move away from a missed opportunity. Discontent and boredom for this one. Um, you know, not paying attention, not looking at the right things. And guess what? We, we have the Wheel of Fortune and rest and reconsider. Nine of Wands, right? We have some changes. And um, I feel that somebody, um, you know, it's, it's an energy of changing themselves. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, is the perseverant um, energy where even if we are hurt, we keep going. But then the universe steps in and says, you know what? We're going to change. We're going to move. We do have the chariot, gives that energy. And just moving forward. I love this. The chariot is the energy of triumph and success. So... Hell yeah, we are taking it, right? Now, Leo, let's see, bottom of the deck. We need to find balance over here. Two of Pentacles. This is working way too much, having way too many responsibilities. This is juggling a situation. And we also have the Seven of Swords. We are juggling some dishonesty here. Um, hidden things for some of you. Um, Leo, kind of like the universe is pointing you towards a truth that you need to discover, to unfold, to seek in order for you to find balance. This is the overall energy at this time. So let's have past energy, see if it resonates and then we move forward with the current energies. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with on your right and mutual energies. Let's have current energies and mutual and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck two of swords two of pentacles two of swords that is absolutely a choice uh refusing to see and it's interesting um leo seek the truth but in the same time we are refusing to see together is the ninth is the nine of swords and we might be concerned about something we might have doubts about someone um you know when it's something doesn't feel right and something is uh, doesn't put us at ease and we have concerns you know uh, this is how it feels and uh, we have a choice to make here um we have twice the uh, number two so somebody here uh, needs to make a choice so leo of course we were heartbroken we do have the three of swords in the past and the two of cups sadness and isolation and coming together we gave this person so much love right so much love we were barely able to breathe right because uh two of cups is the energy of body mind and soul such an amazing energy of soulmates an amazing energy of um, two people coming together and just um, feeling at ease, right? Um, and then heartbreak followed, right? Some, something happened and we found ourselves in this kind of isolation away from probably this person and um, simply in pain. And to that extent that even today we kind of have to make a choice, find balance, and still we are... Um, we we refuse to see the evidence that is under our eyes. Just saying. Um, it, it feels, um, Leo, like you know something about and yet you are pushing it away, right? Oh, hell yeah, Leo. Yeah, this person is dishonest. Um, they show up with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Let me tell you, a lot of swords might be somebody... Um, might be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, a lot of swords. But of course, I'm sure the situation was painful. And by the way, we just started the reading, Leon. We have twice the seven of swords. So we have somebody coming from a place of love, and we have somebody coming from a place of um, hidden mysteries, I'm going to call them. But, you know, it's a place of deceit, uh, a place of conflict. Five of swords is the energy of conflict, is the energy of I don't know. Is the energy of win or lose, you know? It's like there is no gray zones, right? Somebody can be black or white. That, I mean, there is no um, nuances in between. Um, they might have been conflicted about the audio. Um, and um, they might have created, actually, 
a conflict because of a third party situation because of dishonesty and um, the whole connection went out of balance because there are ways right of, of doing love so just saying now mutual energy is between the two of you in the past we do have the judgment and we do have the six of pentacles right that was a decision about reciprocation that was a final decision and the final decision hurt the hell out of you Leo with the three of swords and also it came from a place of out of balance and dishonesty and honestly for the um the, the past energy uh, Leo with the six of pentacles like all that I ever wanted was giving and receiving balance and reciprocation you know um and we had the judgment that was a decision sometimes a uh you know can be a, a divorce a separation of some sort the final decision that um but the dishonesty in it is just crazy you know it's kind of something that we feel um even now and uh, completely two different energies one coming from a place of love and sharing the uh, the other person coming from a place of um of hiding something you know and it, and that is a sense of on their uh, partly a sense of they they had an idea and they tried you know to um to kind of manage and uh, deal with something that was hidden inside of them so where are we right now um definitely passionate about this person wanting and longing for a new beginning but we also have the nine of wands rest and reconsider and together is the ten of wands um so we are tired longing for a new beginning hoping hoping for a new vitality of some sort and with the nine of wands it's uh, just the energy of i've been through a lot i just want to rest you know and yes from time to time you know a new passion kicks in in, in terms of a new idea of we have to turn the page and we have to move on it's part of life um and yet we have this um this this energy of recovery and that's amazing self-care recovering right we have rest and reconsider so for some of you you are really guided to to wait a bit and uh, start by thinking about start by seeing whatever you are refusing to see right and just find balance it's a it's a beautiful energy of self-care uh, right now Leo, and I do hope you do this now this person of yours um, well they are in a place of disaster I would say they have the tower moment and they do have the high priestess they are rebuilding and listening it's a beautiful energy of dealing with the tower moment in a very spiritual way um, in action is the best course of action staying a little bit put um, and managing this managing this but um, I would say not uh, again not a lot of action but a beautiful mindful because the high priestess is a very mindful energy mindful of the dark and the light mindful of the place where she is the responsibility she has the knowledge that she needs right so um that is a that is a form of mindfulness but nonetheless they are going through a tower moment trying to rebuild um kind of um wanting to put their um, life together or the pieces together but in a in a more spiritual way right in a form of awakening after the blast now mutual energy is between the two of you right now leo we do have somebody moving on and um moving on towards joy and stability um i'm sensing leo that in the process it's like i've um, done my best I've um, given a lot of love and now it's time for me to have a new beginning. I'm sensing actually that both of you, you are moving away, moving on. Um, because your instability is needed, because a new passion is needed and because somebody and especially this person of yours, they have to rebuild their life and they are um, right now, I would say emotionally withdrawing just because they need, um, they need this time for themselves. It's so interesting, again, uh, Leo coming from two different energies, from two different places. Um, and um, it's, it, it feels like both of you wanting the same thing. When we look at the past energies, current, we're going to see the energies coming your way. Wanting the same thing, but boy, 
um, you know, bringing to the table uh, two different vibrations. Um, that is another message for somebody here that is absolutely, um, you know, when karma and destiny um, catch up with somebody, well, in a sense that in the past they were such in a, um, in a conflictual kind of place and uncomfortable. Five of Swords is a lot of, it's like standing between five swords and trying to sit down, right? Completely difficult. Um, and it's, that is a sense of their own dishonesty kind of was uncomfortable to them, right? And then the universe brought the tower moment saying, well, guess what? We need to clean this up because we, uh, we cannot, um, you know, uh, live a life in uh, deceit and not paying the bills for it. So uh, that's kind of, you know, kind of the universe uh, making them pay in some way um, for something that they already uh, knew that the, it was um, uncomfortable. And, and the growing part of it with the high priestess, right? There is a sense of growing here. Now moving forward, we do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, we go to we go with the flow, and yes, we expect only the best. Um, Seven of Pentacles is, is the energy of expecting harvest, except um, expecting um, results after investing in a situation. And the um, actually, what we are investing in is peace of mind, um, accepting, allowing. This is the universe doing some work in your life, and um, and Leo as being patient. Um, till the pieces are put back together, right? I love the energy of rest and rejuvenate, go with the flow, wait for results. That is a strong message here of Leo, do not rush into anything over here. That is a strong energy of, you know, because first we need to see some things that we are pushing back. Oh, they are consistent, Leo. This person of yours, they have the justice, Libra energy and um, the High Priestess again, Pisces Cancer, the energy of listening, the energy of detaching, the energy of balance, the energy of karma, paying the debt, and they are so paying their debt, um, Leo. Um, I mean, the Tower and the Justice, right? Well, of course, maybe the Justice System and stuff, but it's Major Arcana for the present moment, Major Arcana in the future. So the, they're budding so much... Uh, change and transformation and rebalancing the universal scales and whatever they did in the past, somebody is really like, um, right? Um, kind of, um, yeah, whatever they did in the past, it's, uh, it's pay time, right? Mutual energy is between the two of you and that's why we love repeat cards, right? We have the Justice and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so both of you, Leo, kind of feeling helpless and hopeless, helpless and hopeless, um, still bound to each other, and yet there is a sense of allowing karma. Uh, and again, this energy of paid time, right? So whoever did good, well, good is coming, and whoever needs to pay a couple of bills, well, bills are coming, you know. Um, do I see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not seeing love right now, Leo, um, between you and this person, um, but I'm seeing kind of the universe doing a tremendous amount of work in their life, and I see you coming to terms and going with the flow and finally uh, finding some peace of mind with this situation and starting to see a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, right? Starting to feel a little bit of a fire in our belly and saying, you know, maybe soon I'm going to be ready uh, for something uh, to open up. We do have detach, detach and listen. So for some of you, I would say more for this person of yours, um, they might be listening. Uh, that is an energy of, of listening and they might be listening to you if that is a way to do so or watching you and observing you. Uh, if that is a way, um, but we also have for both of you this energy of detachment, right? Whatever was too much, it becomes uh, bearable in some way. It becomes tower moment for them, it becomes bearable for you, right? Because we finally can, uh, can take it slow and detach slowly. 
And right at the core of the reading, we have moving on towards joy and stability. We leave the past in the past for joy and stability. We are disconnecting, right? I love this, but it's painful, I know, Leo. I know, I know. It's painful for both of you, actually. Okay? So let's have some guidance. Let's have Romance Angels. Let's see what we are supposed to do and we have leo this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so for some of you looking for a partner guess what they are close to you can be this person can be somebody new we do have chemistry that is a strong magnetic attraction here between you and and somebody yeah i'm sure you already know and we do have free yourself I know, Leo. So you need to free yourself from someone and the person you have chemistry with. They are already in your environment and you already know them. That is a clear message for somebody. Uh, Leo, if you are still emotionally connected to somebody, we let them go and we open up to somebody right under your nose. This could be the one and we have attraction here. Now let's have uh, true love and whispers of love. And we do have the rainbow reviver. We need to have some fun, Leo. We forgot. And it's right under free yourself. Free yourself and have some fun. The rainbow reviver. How about a little bit of spice? And guess what? This could be the one. And then we have love. Um, so Leo, whoever you are um, attached to, we need to let them go, baby, because they are no good. And we open up and have some fun and new love and chemistry and compatibility, right? We need to look into, you are guided to look into whatever. It's right on the chemistry, right? So you might have a form of connection with somebody where, the, where there is chemistry and also compatibility. They might be the one that is love there. But we need to free ourselves and open up to a little bit of fun. Yeah, I know it comes with homework. I know, I know. And I wonder when is the time it doesn't, but hey. Now let's see the energies coming your, uh, the energies we need to put back into the flow. And Leo, we do have surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Okay. What else? Service. I love this. Surrender the habit of people pleasing and now we have service. I feel good when I can help others. So we need to put uh, service back into the flow, right? We need to be of help. I feel good when I help others. It's no people pleasing, but it is yes to service. We do have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So Leo, isn't it wonderful? We need to put a sense of purpose in your love life and a sense of service and a sense of please stop pleasing people. We do have acceptance and I do feel that it has something to do with free yourself, have some fun and accept. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And speaking of rainbow reviver, you do have bottom of the deck surrender to play, Leo. You forgot to be playful. That's a problem. That's a big problem. So take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So yeah, no people pleasing and a bit of play. But that is service and purpose, which is kind of connected to career and your uh, mission in life. So I'm just saying somehow love and mission in life for some of you might be um, connected. But hey, we let go of someone and we allow somebody new in our lives. That's the main um, advice here for some of you, Leo. But you know, you always have to use your better judgment. You know better than I do um, because you went through it. So Leo, this is all that I have for you. You know, I love you. Please stay super safe. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.